Today in studio we have an entrepreneur, Gary Hopkins, who is the owner of I Love Coffee. Welcome, Gary. Thank you so much. So your business, um, I Love Coffee, is a social enterprise. We'll get to the concept later on. But um, you've hired deaf baristas. Um, talk us through that process. Yes, that's correct. So the, the concept was born about 18 months ago. Um, yes. I'm, my background is marketing, and I really wanted to do, start a new business, something that had a social impact. And uh, I came to understand the challenges facing the deaf community, and that really struck a chord with me. And, and really where it stems from is, is out of the fact that their language is not recognized. South yes. African Sign Language is not recognized as, as an official language, uh, which means that um, most deaf youth um, struggle with education. You know, for, for deaf kids to get a matric is, is quite a significant achievement. Yes. And to progress beyond that is, is almost impossible. If you look at UCT, there's something like 27,000 students there, but of which only five are deaf. So really, wow. so the, the chances of advancing into the workplace um, is, is, is very slim. So, you know, the deaf community is by and large locked out of the economy. And so I thought, well, what is the simplest way to break down communication barriers? How do we start this process? Yes. And the, the simplest way is over a cup of coffee. We all love coffee. True. We all love chatting over coffee. So why would it be different with hearing a deaf people? And that's where the idea was born. And um, that's very interesting because you're talking about people who are deaf and in the same breath, these are the people who left to work with the people and then language being a key connector between these two. So how is that working for you? How did you overcome that barrier? Or what are you doing to make sure that it works for both parties? Okay. So, you know, the, the interesting thing is that sign language is, a, is obviously a very full language, but the, the language of coffee is quite simple. So, for okay. example, to order a cappuccino in sign language is quite simple. Okay. That's a cappuccino right. and that's a latte. So it was, it's really easy to start the conversation. Yes. So in our first version of the shop, we had a wall that said how to order coffee from a deaf barista. And it had four very simple points. It said, one, look, look the barista in the eye. Two, speak normally. And in brackets, don't shout, it won't help. Okay. Three, write it down. So all our surfaces, you can write down your order. Or number four, learn to sign. And our baristas love teaching people how to sign for a coffee. Um, as we've progressed, that has evolved. Um, and we now have a video that plays in our store, which teaches people how to order coffees and various things. Um, but also what is unique about our model is that, in part from just learning how to make coffee, we, we train our staff how to run a cafe from end to end. Yes. And after a period of two years, the cafe then becomes theirs. They take ownership of it. That's so, amazing. So they go from being unemployed to employed and trained to actually owning, owning their own, their own, own businesses. Shop. That's amazing. And how do you source them? Um, you know, the deaf community is quite small, so the word spreads quite quickly. Okay. Um, we Our original baristas we've hired from the National Institute for the Deaf. So we have some that have had some brist, some chef training. We've we've taken them on board, um, but we've had other staff members that we've recruited just by putting the out, word out on on Facebook. Okay, um, now let's talk about the the concept, yes. which is the basis of your business. Yes. Um, you use compostable or biodegradable um, coffee pods. Um, why is that important, or why was that important? Okay, so part of the process of Yes, we open cafes, but we also won an award from Pick and Pay to list a retail product. So we developed these compostable pods. So, you know, the, 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 the figures around pods are scary. So there's something like 10 billion pods produced every year around the world, and South Africa produces 10 million. Now, sure. up until now, those are aluminium or plastic. And, and where does that go? It ends up in landfill, it ends up in the sea, it ends up in our rivers. It's, it's a terrible pollutant. So we... And it damages the environment, exactly. eventually. So, and, and coffee is a natural compost. So we thought, well, if we put coffee, which compo composts into fertilizer, into something that does the same, then yes. we'll solve a problem. So <coughs> we developed a, a compostable, biodegradable pod, 99% biodegradable. You only started there in Cape Town? Um, are there any plans to go to other provinces or to expand? Absolutely, yes. So I think that you know, for us it's been very important. The journey was to, to, for us to establish exactly what the brand stood for, okay. um, how we operated, how we trained, where we would take our baristas in the journey. Yes. And we've been, uh, we've been lucky, fortunate enough to have amazing support. So the, the over and above Pick and Bay, the SAB Foundation yes. recognized us with a Social Innovation Award and funding, which allowed us then to to set up our first proper cafe, which is in Greenpoint. 
uh, our host company is Saatchi and Saatchi, who's an yeah. ad agency. So they give us tremendous support, yes. not only from the staff buying coffees from us, but um, also in terms of advertising and PR. Yes. Um, and that's helped us formulate the perfect picture of what do we look like visually and how do we fund this moving forward. And, and part of that, that, the way that we move this forward is that we access um, various funding, enterprise skills and supply development funding. Yes. And that's very key for, for if you're talking about transformation, this really is transformation in action because True. you're allowing a company to, to bring something into their business which they're spending money on and they see the, the outcomes not only from our, our staff um, benefiting and getting jobs and owning a business, but their staff also suddenly become more, more motivated and uh, the morale increases and there's a wonderful team spirit that happens around our coffee station. Yes. So um, it's very rewarding for everyone involved. And they become more independent eventually. Absolutely. And then you mentioned that after two years they own the, the coffee shop. Correct. So oh, you only started 18 months ago. So, yeah. so our, our first baristas are, are, are getting pretty close to being in a situation where they will they will start taking ownership and, and that's you asking about us growing now. So we're starting yes. to look now what are opportunities are there. So we're looking for places where we can open up another one in in the corporate space, Johannesburg is obviously key for us. We'd like to be there next. Yes. Um, but we've identified two or three places in Cape Town which we're probably getting close to opening as well.